And now stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of Scratch and his feathered friend. Interplanetary space investigator Colonel Gleep and his deputies, Squeak and Scratch, roared with butomic speed past the black planet Pluto, over and under the green planet Neptune and Uranus, through the glowing yellow rings of Saturn, and then screeched to a halt, directly over the twelfth moon of Jupiter. Somewhere below, on this mysterious satellite, lurked the evil Dr. Destructo, master criminal of outer space. This time, Bleep meant to track him down for sure. To scratch, the caveman, landing here was like stepping back into the dim past of his childhood. Because this forgotten world was inhabited by the same prehistoric monsters which roamed the Earth when Scratch was just a boy. Back in the days of the dinosaurs. Anxiously, Bleep searched the horizon with his butomic visual scanner and quickly spotted Destructo's hideaway, high on a rocky cliff beyond. At twilight, they would attack and capture the villain in his lair. Meanwhile, Squeak settled down on a cozy bed of soft green ferns to rest until zero hour. And Scratch, remembering his childhood, went happily off in search of a tasty prehistoric egg, a luscious treat he had not enjoyed for several thousand years. The caveman was at home here, and no beast, regardless of size, ferociousness, or cunning, could frighten him or keep him from finding that egg. And then, Scratch saw it, the biggest, roundest, most delicious egg there ever was. But when Scratch reached to pick up his prize, it suddenly began to shake and rattle and roll round and round. The caveman dove under a feather to hide just as the great egg shattered. And there stood a strange bird, a super bird far larger than Scratch himself. Thinking the top of Scratch's head was another egg, the bird tried to peck it open too. And when Scratch leaped up, the bird felt sure this was his newly hatched brother, and he began to hug the caveman joyfully. Meanwhile, as twilight gathered, Leap and Squeak silently closed in on the entrance to Dr. Destructo's secret cave. A strange glow from within meant the mad scientist was busy at work and his capture looked easy. If only they could be quiet enough to surprise him. But just at that moment, Squeak accidentally squeaked, alerting the huge vampire bat which stood guard at the mouth of the cave. The evil creature lunged towards them. At the same time, Bleep aimed a blast of futomic energy at the beast. But too late, he realized that the long trip to Jupiter's 12th moon had completely discharged his futomic storage batteries. Now, the great bat swooped upward, clutching the helpless pair. But Scratch, riding his prehistoric superbird, had also seen the bat. And in an instant, the huge bird, with the caveman at the controls, dived down towards the monster for a fight to the finish. Then a head-on crash sent the bat spinning down straight towards the entrance of Destructo's hideout. While Bleep and Squeak floated to safety on two great feathers. Yes, Scratch and Superbird had saved the day. But there was no time now to check on the fate of Destructo because Superbird was waiting to fly them back to the planet Futura, where a new supply of futonic energy and another exciting assignment would be waiting for Colonel Bleep of the Interplanetary Space Command.